Good day from everyone watching in the world. Welcome to our project presentation. My name is Mohamed Kwatran, so I'm here with my colleague. Dad, I'm also going to see. And we are from Ghana, and I'm representing Galaxy International School. So our project is basically about how we can produce brown paper using banana stem chips. Banana is an edible food made by or produced by some herbaceous plants in the genus Musa, and this was stated by Constantine and in 2001. Now, banana has a lot of uses, and some commercial uses of banana are you can use it to make milkshakes. When you go to restaurants, you can see you can find a lot of banana milkshakes. You can even process it into flour to make banana bread, which is now trending in the world. And some beneficial phytochemicals in the banana tree. Phytochemicals are basically compounds found in foods that help regulate some body processes. And some phytochemicals found in banana are potassium, which can help regulate blood pressure and some chemicals in the body. Some aims of this project are to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases and to purify the air in the environment, and also to increase the rainfall and maintain water cycle in our environment. Now, the process of how we made this paper. So we obtained banana, some banana steps like this. Cut them into small pieces, about four to five centimeters each, and dry them in the sun to remove every moisture. And then we measured about 200 grams of this and boiled it. And as we boiled, we added about 10 grams of sodium hydroxide to the mixture so that we can get smooth looking paper. After this, we scooped and blended the boiled banana stem chips and then sieved it with this. This were like a sieve, which we inclined at the wall to an, of an angle of 45 degrees to remove the moisture at the left it out on the sun to dry so that we can get our paper. So on your left, you can see the sieve that we use to remove the, remove the moisture and left in the sun to um, obtain our paper. And in the blue container, you can see the boiled banana stem chips, which we used. And on the right side of the screen, you can see the brown paper, our final product, which has been used in packaging bread and other stuff. Of my colleague here, Austin, will continue. Thank you. The observation results. This is our observation made by a Ghana forestry analysis. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization FAO in 2000, in Ghana, about 1,000 trees were cut down every month throughout the year for timber and other industrial purposes. As you can see on your screen on the left side, the graph there shows that the amount 1,000 trees were cut down. But when we start using banana how to make paper, the approximate number of trees cut down every month will reduce to 600. So this banana stem paper was produced and shared to eight people to give an account on the following parameters, texture, durability, order and recommendation through the use of questionnaires. User one says, or user A says that texture was smooth, durability 95%, Although is pleasant, recommendation 100%. B says texture is smooth, you are with 85%. Although is pleasant, recommendation 98%. Mr. C says texture is rough, you are with 70%. Although is unpleasant, recommendation 95%. Mr. D says texture is smooth, you are with 95%. Although is pleasant, recommendation 80%. Mr. E says texture is semi rough. Durability is 85%. Other is unpleasant. Recommendation 90%. User here says texture is smooth. Durability is 75%. Other is pleasant. Recommendation 70%. User G says texture is smooth. But the durability is not that high for me. It says it's 55%. Other is pleasant. Does it quite recommend it? 60% recommendation. User H says texture is smooth. Your ability is 90%. Order is pleasant. A recommendation 95%. As you can see on your graph, ladies and gentlemen, it shows users against recommend, recommendation. Some people didn't quite recommend it, but our average is around 86%. So we chose banana because banana stem because it has a lot of pulp and fiber, which when brought together with sodium hydroxide, blended and sun dried, leads to the production of the paper. A whole banana stem chip with NaOH sodium hydroxide produces a paper with a rough texture and dull appearance. Therefore, sodium hydroxide 
I take the banana stem chips, those sweet and really can cause used to fork the banana stem chips with five eggs, give it a smooth texture. This is why we choose sodium hydroxide, else you put the rough texture paper. There was a chalky and irritating task during boiling of the banana stem chips. The irritating and chalky effect is as a result of sodium hydroxide added as it possesses those are now. So when you are at this stage, you have to wear a gas mask or a face mask just to prevent any health hazards. So I'm concluding, a banana stem when cut into chips, dry in the sun for 24 to 48 hours, the moisture content will move up. Boiled in the water with NDA OH and blended together using an electric blender and scoop with either a circular or a rectangular seed and finally dried in the sun for three hours to result in the production of paper. This project helps in environmental conservation as trees will not cut down for paper production, as, as my colleague said earlier. Recommendation. We would like to recommend the United Nations organization support this project to help improve and protect the environment. As considered and gentlemen of my screen, here are some here are the list of references. I'm glad I'm here. I'm here with my colleague. Thank you.